Hey everyone, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to episode 3 of Scrap Mechanic City. In this episode, I wanted to quickly start off on top of this building in this crane. Uh, if you've seen it before, this crane is from the mining world. I'll put a little link right here for you if you want to check that out. Uh, and what I was able to do was actually take it from that world and bring it into this one. So now you can actually use this crane in any world that you want uh, by grabbing it from the workshop. So there's a link in the description for that, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I'll show you what it can do in the city now. Did that seriously just land like that? So now we're gonna check out the pickup truck guys and also the first townhouse unit to move into the Moontropolis city. So here's the Ford pickup truck guys. Um, I'm really happy with the overall design actually. Um, it is really big, but it works very well in the city. Um, I've done some special things to it to make it work properly. I'll show you here. Um, so I did put some uh, turning and uh, sensor uh, kind of set up in here with some thrusters at the front. So that actually kind of steers the nose a little bit more than it normally would with just the tires. Uh, so it gives you that proper turning capacity to fit well in the city. Um, as well, actually, I can hop inside the uh, truck here and show you the back. Uh, so as you can see, I actually have some loose items there. Those are absolutely loose. Um, and it's a lot of fun to be able to drive around with um, like actual cargo in the uh, back of something. Kind of like the garbage truck actually with the uh, garbage bags. Uh, so as you can see in action though, uh, it just drives very smoothly. Uh, even with the uh, stuff in the back, uh, it doesn't really cause many FPS issues. Um, I should note actually, I get about 30 FPS in this city until I start recording. But my graphics card is going to be coming in the mail tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to get that installed right away, and you guys will start seeing some uh, much better videos uh, as far as the quality is concerned, uh, and the frame rate as well, because like I was saying, I get about 30 in this city, uh, but as soon as I start recording, it drops down to about 15. Uh, sometimes I'll get 20, depending on where I'm at, uh, but overall... Uh, it's running pretty good. Uh, I hope I can get some feedback from you guys. The uh, world download is in the description of each episode now um, with the, all the updates to it. Uh, so if you guys do download it, please let me know what you guys think, uh, how it runs on your computer, uh, and I can kind of get an idea of uh, just how far we can go with this. So as you can see though, the, uh, the truck drives uh, very well. Uh, I could stay inside the lanes very easily. Uh, it can drive really fast and you never have to really worry about um, causing any issues with uh, the wheels kind of going crazy. As you can see, I kind of added a uh, little parking meter there, so we'll kind of just stop here at the meter, and we'll hop out through the top hatch right here, and we'll go check out the townhouse. As you can kind of see, I really only have, uh, I have one that's pretty much done completely. Um, there's one that's in the process of being made at the moment, actually, by a friend um, who's going to work on this some more in the future. Uh, so that one will get done as well. Um, I have a few more here, as you have seen in the last episode, and these ones are all just kind of empty shells. So maybe if you guys uh, have some ideas uh, for what kind of townhouse you would want to see inside of these ones, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I think we'll see some pretty cool stuff from you guys. Uh, so here is the one that I made though, uh, that's pretty well finished. A uh, nice two-way switch with the new uh, logic gates, some of the first things that I've used for them. As you can see, uh, I want to note actually, I'm sorry I don't have more of these done, but honestly, I did not realize how big I made these townhouses until I started working in them. Uh, but I'm really happy with the design in this one, so the front entrance here with a nice little carpet, as you can see, there's a nice big walk-in closet. I've got my uh, business suit in there, of course, uh, for all the business that goes on in this city. Uh, so there's a nice stairway that leads to the upstairs, uh, and this is your kind of main level here. Um, they're huge, by the way. This is just a really big townhouse. So here's the ground level bathroom. Uh, this isn't quite finished. I have a couple more things to add, actually, upstairs. Uh, but this is a nice little design, I think. Kind of uh, cottagey, but but that downtown city feel at the same time. Nice big uh, kitchen here. 
with uh, some windows. Obviously in the city you're just going to see some side alleys. Uh, if you recognize this fridge, this is from the uh, restaurant. So I figured, you know what, I might as well kind of uh, recycle some of the doodads that I've made and put them to good use. I've got a nice little um, stove here with oven and some uh, cover tree as well, a little garbage can. And then we have the dining area back here, you know, a little, obviously must be a trophy case of some sort. Um, some dining room table area here. I wish there was more wall art or stuff like it in Scrap Mechanic, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, then you got your downtown balcony, so obviously you get to see your parking lot, which is not the most exciting thing, but trust me, it's what it's like. So that's the main floor, guys. Um, pretty happy with the overall design here. I tried to add nice trim, you know, and make it interesting to the eyes. Um, I kind of added a little shelving thing here, and uh, just for fun, I added a kind of a moving sculpture, if you want to call it that, maybe. Uh, but just using some of the new features in Scrap Mechanic. So I'll show you the basement here. This is, I decided to kind of do something interesting and actually just kind of make it like an unfinished basement as you've seen before. Um, there's so much room in these houses that you'll see why. I kind of left this empty for now. Maybe I'll add some more in another episode, but I definitely have uh, some big plans for this city. Uh, so there's not much going on in the basement, but there is definitely a basement. And there's also a floor above this, and if you don't believe me, there's another floor above this one as well. So this is kind of like the living area. So up here I made like a nice bookshelf, as well as a nice uh, chair. There's some homemade wall art. It's the best I can do in Scrap Mechanic. It's no Picasso. So I've got some nice uh, front windows here actually. Uh, so you can press this button here and you get some uh, get some little breeze going on in your uh, townhouse to cool it off in those summers. Yeah, so that's a nice little feature. It looks nice from the outside as well. I, I think I'll leave those out actually. It's getting kind of stuffy in here. There's all this dust floating around. There's some, uh, some more interpretation of wall art. You know, the, the robots. They're pretty famous. So this one I've left uh, empty because I want to hear uh, from you guys. Uh, what do you think I should put in this room? Uh, I was thinking maybe an office or a second bedroom, but uh, there could be uh, there could be way better things to put in here. So maybe if you guys want to let me know what you want to see in that room, uh, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. So here you have the master bedroom. Uh, some nice big windows looking out at the parking lot as well, of course. Uh, but you got some nice furniture here. Uh, a nice uh, big screen TV that's wall mounted as well. Uh, it's kind of funny too because the way the game is seeing the paint in the back you can actually get some very interesting uh, patterns appear on the glass as you uh, move your camera. Uh, so I, I, it actually kind of makes a bit of a TV effect which is kind of weird actually. But I thought that was pretty cool. Aside from that that's pretty much it on this floor. Um, there's a couple more things I need to add. Like I haven't put a shower in here yet but I'm thinking I might even be able to cut this down in half add a shower in here, uh, as well as the upstairs bathroom. But then you go up here to the third floor, so as I was saying, these things are big. So the third floor here, um, I kind of went with the bar scene. Uh, so here, you know, in this nice townhouse, you have a nice um, upstairs bar that overlooks the staircase and the lower floors as well, so you can see the whole place. Uh, I, I put some cool little bar stools here as well. And uh, these are supposed to be pool cues. Uh, I guess you could say they're the scrap mechanic version of pool cues. As well, of course, there's a little radio here for you to listen to your tunes while you uh, play some darts on the dartboard, as well as shoot some pool at your awesome pool table. So we've got the uh, upstairs floor here. We've got the floor below it, which is the living area. And we have the main floor with kitchen and dining room. And an unfinished basement, which is not something that's uncommon that you wouldn't see in real life, actually. So I hope you all enjoyed the townhouse, as well as the Ford pickup truck. And don't forget about the crane on the workshop as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, then be sure to hit that like button, guys, and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And if you don't mind me, I've got some future projects to take care of. See you in the next one.